Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh respected brothers and friends today is, t- today is Tuesday the 8th of August 2017 Alhamdulillah it's been a week now in fact 10 days since we got back from Albania and Kosovo and I'm sure most of you on Facebook were watching our videos uh, we were posting up while we were in Kosovo and while we were in Albania the latest projects, the Madresa projects the orphan projects, the uh, Habib Mazira Habib Patel project the academy project it was very very interesting and i hope you enjoyed the videos and it's been 10 days since we got back and i thought i'd just make a, a short video today just to summarize the, our trip in albania and kosovo first of all i want to say a big jazakallah khair to my team raham Masi team ayub Kalmada from leicester uh, ikram al haq umarji salim Bali from leicester um, iqbal master from bolton and iqbal ali from bolton these brothers are from have been from day one apart from salim Bay, who started from 2005 but Iqbal, uh, Iqbal, Ayyub and Ikram, they've been since 1999 um, the pillars of Rahman Mercy and they've given me a lot, a lot of support and we travel every year once uh, for two weeks in, in, in the month of um, usually May but this year because of Ramadan we travelled in July and again this trip was absolutely outstanding again you know one thing, uh, I was telling my Jummah congregation this year, uh, this, this week as well gone that when we go to Albania, Kosovo, we go with intention obviously to help our, boost our Iman as well and to motivate the people of Albania and Kosovo. But you know what actually happens? When we go there, I actually feel they motivate us and they make our Iman strong and they make us better and they make us appreciate what we have in the UK, our ulama, our madaris, our masajid, in our institutes, alhamdulillah. We're so, Allah, we are so fortunate, brothers and sisters. It's so sometimes, you know, when we travel from, when we travel and we leave our town and cities and we go to other countries in the world and we see what they have in the sense of deen and the facilities they have it's only then you appreciate what we have in, in this country. So what I will say to people, Thank Allah for the ni'mats and the, and the blessings He has bestowed upon us. Allah will give us more. Allah will give us more. If we take it for granted and we're content and, and, then, and we don't appreciate what we have, then Allah can take away these blessings. Go into history. and I don't, go, I don't have enough time to go talk about it. But look into history and you'll see what happened in Russia, what happened in Spain. And we don't appreciate the name and advantage of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anyway, brothers and sisters, when we went to Al Kosovo, alhamdulillah, we went to the Masajid, absolutely super, the Madrasa. The way the students are making progress, it, it, it brings a lot of comfort and a lot of happiness in our hearts. And on this, at this moment, I want to uh, thank those brothers and sisters who are sponsoring Madrasas. It's two and a half thousand pounds. Those brothers who have those families which, who, which are sponsoring, Wallahi, you are doing a fantastic job. You know, this is a great means, it's a great investment for the hereafter. Great means of Isa Lessa when we leave this dunya as well. You know, these students who didn't know the Kalima La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah today, they, they're believing Qala Allah wa Qala Rasul. And these are kids who never, whose parents don't know anything about Iman. 40, 47 years they knew nothing about Islam and Deen and they were deprived from practicing the religion. Today we've given them a platform, an opportunity to learn about Iman and Islam. Uh, that was great. The orphans, subhanAllah, we met so many orphans in Albania and in Kosovo, given a chance just to put their hand over their heads and earn a bit of reward. One Sahabi came to Rasulullah and said, Ya Rasulullah, my heart is really hard, my heart is really hard. So Nabi Sassam said, stay in, in with the yatim, stay with the yatims, your heart will become soft, your heart will become soft. So you know, it, it, it's, it's great when you see these yatims, you can sit with them, you can talk with them, make them feel like they've got a father, they've got an uncle they can talk to. And give them ambitions in their life. They can, they can, they can hopefully uh, fulfill their dreams in life. And we, Rahma and Mercy, can be the, the the charity, the organization in that part of the world will be given an opportunity. The Yatim project was absolutely fantastic. One of the most amazing, uh, one of I guess the highlight of my trip was when I went to one madrasa in Baelish in Albania, a village in Albania. We posted a whole video on Facebook, and it's around 50 ladies from the eldest 77, the youngest around seven to nine years old. And the zeal and the love and for Islam was just so amazing. It blew my mind away. Honestly, in years I've been traveling, but this has to be one of my most amazing memories. They were sitting on floors so hard. They were sitting on floors so hard. And no, there's no carpet. It was 40 degrees that day. And I sat on the floor for a few minutes and my, my, my legs were aching. They've been sitting there for two hours. It's only been a two months for Dresa. But Wallahi Razim, the way they said, listen to my Surah Fatiha, listen to my Surah class, listen to this, listen to this. And brothers and sisters, it was just amazing, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. Please make dua for the people of Albania and Kosovo. And the, and the last thing, again we posted another video, was the Masjid of Muhammad Hafiz Patel. Hafiz Patel, my Ustad, my Murabi, um, who, who 
to make what I am today is for the barakat and the duas of Hafiz Abdul Rahmatullah. And uh, we're building a masjid in his remembrance, inshallah. It's going to be complete 19th of October, 20th of October, inshallah. Ta'ala. Images are coming in from the masjid. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. I'll be like Hafiz himself, mashallah. And uh, it's going to be ready soon, two months to go. A big jazakallah khair for the people who donated towards, the, towards this beautiful masjid, inshallah. Make dua, it becomes a suburb of khair and hidayat throughout, especially Al Basan, the city, and then throughout the whole four corners. Um, of Albania and the Balkans, insha'Allah ta'ala. That is the intention. And th there's been so many other things, it, the, the video become far too long. I just want to say, from, on behalf of myself and my friends, a big jazakallah khair to all the donors. Remember, without donor support, without people donating and sponsoring and helping for the orphans, for the madrasas, for the masjids and other, other projects, this would have not been possible today. It's been 18 years, I still think it's a dream. How it's happened, I really don't know. It's just with the Father of Allah ta'ala. People's du'as, parents' du'as, ustaz' du'as. And so folks, I just want to say a big jazakallah khair from myself, from Raham Mercy as well, to all of you who helped us out. Allah reward in the dunya and akhirah. One last request, please make du'a for us. Allah give us the class and sincerity what we're doing. And Allah keep us united. While we are united, Allah's help is there. When we break, then Allah's help goes away. So once again, a big jazakallah khair, a request from me, um, Khalid Ahmad from Raham Mercy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.